Hey bosses, it's Nina, and I have a special treat for you. I think I always say that now, but anyways, this is gonna be all about how to create segments in Active Campaign. Hold your breath. Based on Thinkific courses. Um, so Thinkific, for a while I've been using Thinkific, and they had a couple of things that they were working on, and they just released a feature that allows you to connect everything from enrollments to um, course completions to purchases directly into Active Campaign. You can do this before, but it was through Zapier and it was a little, it was just a lot to do. And so I love what they've done with it. They're integrating Thinkific with Active Campaign in a way that is super duper easy. So I'm gonna show you how to use it and how to segment your list. Now, if you don't know how to segment, seg, if you don't know what list segmentation is, this is not the video for you. Um, I'll be going over that in the Pink Boss Academy. Um, you can click the link below and I'll explain a little bit more about what that is. But for now, let's jump in. So um, I am on Active Campaign side and I am in my automations. Now I'll leave the instructions below on how to integrate. It's super duper easy and think if it has a great article on it. So I'm not gonna go over those steps, right? But once you get it connected, you literally just come in and you're gonna log into your think if, um, excuse me, active campaign account and you're gonna go down to your automations, right? And you're gonna create a new automation. And so I'm gonna click on new automation and I'm just gonna start from scratch. Um, and if you wanna know how to create this, um, like an overview of Active Campaign, I also have a video on that. I'll leave the link below to that as well. Okay, let's dive in. So basically what I want is I'm gonna go down to Sales and CRM, and every time an event is recorded, I can actually um, trigger things from that event. Now, um, if I go ahead and select from the drop down, you'll see that these are all my courses. And this is why I didn't want to do it individually from Zapier because I have a lot of courses. I have backup courses. It's just a lot. Um, I love Zapier, but it's just, I couldn't do it with this. Notice that we started off with course completion, enrolled in a course, enrolled in free trial, um, product purchased, and I thought there was a couple more. Okay, a user is created, page visits, purchase, all of these, signups. So basically what I'm gonna do, let's start with my, um, I'll say every time a someone enrolls in my Pink Boss Academy, right? And I could segment this even more. I'm not gonna go that deep into it. I'm just gonna do something very simple. What I'm gonna do is I will first, I'm gonna check to see if they've went through this automation before. And so the way I'm gonna check is every time someone goes through this automation, I'm gonna tag them with in. And I'll show you what that means. I can't remember my naming convention, so we're gonna create one. So I'm gonna say tag. So I'm gonna check if they have in segment. There we go, we're gonna say in. I don't know if I wanna put said, we're just gonna say in, okay? And this is my Learned It Online course. Okay, I had to look it up. So I'm gonna say they're in my automation, segment automation, LIT, Pink Boss Club enrollment, right? So basically I'm checking to see if they have already um, enrolled. Let me finish this and I'll, it'll make more sense. Okay, so let me walk you through what I did. I said, basically, um, every time someone enrolls in Pink Boss Academy, check to see if they have this tag in segment automation, right? If they don't, then add that tag, right? In segment automation, LIT, PBA enrollment, right? So basically check, and if not, add it so next time they come through this, they'll get tagged with that. For now, I'm just gonna end the automation if they already have it. Usually you would do something else, whatever you do. In this case, I just wanna add them to a list. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to contacts, subscribe, okay? 
and then you would pick your list that you want to add them to. Now I haven't created my list, so I'm going to go ahead and create that real quick. Okay, let's go ahead and add them to our list. And before I do that, I do want to let you know that if you're interested in learning more about Thinkific and how to start your online courses and how to start an online membership, I do have a Thinkific webinar coming up. The link is below. You can attend live and there's going to be bonuses given away on that um, webinar. So make sure that you log in. Anyways, um, register below. If you go to here where it says um, the plus here, I can go ahead and add this contact to a list. So I'm going to subscribe them to my Pink Boss Academy list that indicates they enrolled. And then I'm just going to end the automation. Okay. So basically, let me walk you through. A person enrolls in Pink Boss Academy and then it's triggered by that event in um, Active Campaign, right? And then I check to see has this person enrolled in this course begin before because I don't want to send them the same emails or go through the same automations if they've already done this for some reason. Um, and so if they've are if they have, I'm just going to end the automation for now, and I can build that out later. But if they haven't, go ahead and tag them to say, yes, they're going through this automation right now. And then subscribe them to a list. And then that's all I want to do for now. Okay. If you have any questions, leave them below. If you want a full kind of walkthrough of um, active campaign and segmentation and all of that, I'll probably do it in the Pink Boss Academy, but you can fill out a form. The form for requesting new courses are below, is below. Um, go ahead and fill that out and then watch any of my other videos about ActiveCampaign or Thinkific to learn a little bit more.